first step is opening up command prompt and you can access this by going over to the start menu and typing in CMD. Now we're going to get your IP address and your DNS servers. So in order to find your IP address you can type in IP config and the vertical line which is between the backspace and enter keys type in find open up double quotes and type in IP v4 this will give you your IP address that you're connected to your router with you want to go ahead and write this down next we're gonna find your DNS server now what the, the DNS server is is it connects you to your internet service providers uh, network so what you want to type in is IP config slash all vertical line find open up your double quotes and type in DNS server okay and I'm not gonna hit enter because I don't want you guys to see what my DNS server is but it'll give you another group of numbers and go ahead and write both of them groups down because we'll be needing that in the future so go ahead and close out of that now we need to enable two settings to allow remote de devices to connect to your computer so what you want to do is go down to the start menu right click computer go ahead and hit properties scroll down to where you see change settings click on the remote tab and you want to make sure this box is checked and you want to make sure this radio button is checked allow connections from computers running any version of remote desktop this will automatically add a Windows firewall entry exception so you want to hit apply and hit OK you can go ahead and close out of this next we're gonna set up so our computer connects to our router under the same IP address every time most computers unless you set otherwise connect to an IP address just randomly it automatically generates one so we're gonna set it so it grabs the same exact one every single time for this all to work so what you want to do is you want to right click your wireless or your local area network connection go to open network and sharing center you can also access this through the control panel so you want to click on connections and go down to where you see properties find where it says IPv4 click that and then click properties and make sure both of these radio buttons are checked and go ahead and enter in your IP address yours may be different and then for the subnet mask nine times out of ten it'll be 255.255.255.0 so go ahead and fill that in and your default gateway just put in 192.168.1.1 now I am assuming that you guys have a Linksys router so if you don't have a Linksys router just look on the internet to find what the default subnet masks and default gateways are you also want to use the following DNS server addresses and that DNS server number group that you got earlier from the command prompt go ahead and fill it in right here so once you're done go ahead and click OK and click cl close click close again and close out of network and sharing center open up your internet browser and if you have a Linksys router you want to go to 192.168.1.1 this is accessing the router through your internet now you're gonna have to log in with a username and password so if you have not set a username and password for your router try typing in admin for the username and admin for the password or sometimes you can just type in admin for the password and then hit enter no username or admin for the username and no password so just play around with that so once you get in here you want to go down to where you see applications and gaming you want to click that tab and then you want to click on the tab that says port range forwarding next you just want to give this a name I called mine remote desktop so I know what it is later but it does not matter what you choose here for the ports type in 3389 3389 for protocol you want to make sure TCP and UDP are both activated and then you want to type in the IP address that you got from command prompt earlier type in the last three digits here and then you want to enable it make sure you scroll down to the bottom and save your settings one last step what you want to do is type in what's my IP org and it's going to give you your public IP address the 192.168.1.100 or whatever your number is IP address was that's your private IP address that you're connected to your router with this is your public IP address that is available to the world hence public 
So what you want to do is you want to write this down because this is the IP address we're going to use to type in on our phones to connect to. Basically when we type in this IP address in our phones or other devices to connect to, it'll go to our router and it'll look to see what port range forwarding entries we've made and the router will forward the remote desktop connection to the IP address that we listed on the router which is the one that we're trying to connect to our computer. So without the port range forwarding that we did in the last step, there would be a dead end and there would be no way of knowing which device to connect to, especially if you have multiple devices connected to your router. Okay, now that the hard part is over with, you want to go over to your phone and launch the Google Play Store and go ahead and search for Remote Desktop. Now this first link that comes up, the 2x client RDP, go ahead and install that and I've already installed that so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up okay and it's gonna I already have settings for my laptop but we're gonna go to menu and we're gonna add and we're gonna choose RDP connection remote desktop protocol and for alias this is just the name you want it to display as so I called mine laptop I'm not gonna fill out the settings again since I already have them but for server you're going to put in your IP address that you got from going to whatsmyip.org, not the 192.168.1 point whatever, but the actual public IP address. Port, that'll fill it in for you, 3389. In case it's not 3389, go ahead and just fill that in. And for username, this is going to be your computer username that you use to log in. And for password, obviously your computer password. I scroll down and I leave all of the default settings but I check all of these boxes and what this will do is it'll make your phone look more like your computer if you don't check some of these boxes it'll almost look like you have XP even if your computer is running 7 so this may be good if you have a slower internet connection but if you want it to look exactly the same go ahead and check all of these boxes under the experience tab Okay, I just want to show you guys that the, everything works fine, so I want to go, I'm going to go ahead and log into my laptop. Okay, and it's going to show you guys some default gestures. I'm just going to close out of that. And Windows 7 Ultimate. Obviously, that's not running on my phone, my computer, or my laptop is Windows 7 Ultimate. And this is what I was doing on my laptop. I was rendering a video with Camtasia. Actually, this current video right here, uh, the screen capture side, is what I'm rendering right now. But yeah, um, you're able to go into Start Menu. Oops, it's kind of touchy because it's a small screen, but yeah, you're able to go into Start Menu. You go over to Computer. Oh, I must. Uh, oh, I clicked Computer. Okay, and as you can see, let me go ahead and just zoom up for you guys. Okay, you can see my local disk. Let me go into that. Oh, I got to double click. And I have all my program files and whatnot. I can go ahead and close out of that. Oops. And this actually also works in landscape mode. It does work, oh, because it's smaller. I can actually zoom up. Yeah, there we go. I can zoom. But yeah, if you look right here, I mean, I have everything is exact. This is my computer running right now. I mean, my, my internet, you know, has all the Wi-Fi networks around here. Um, and also if you hit menu and you show mouse you can actually use this to navigate the mouse around right click okay and you can move the mouse to where you want it and left click okay I'm not gonna do any of that now and then there's also a keyboard so if you want to do like control all I don't know if there's delete on here but there's function keys so here's a all the F6 and all that. Actually, there's deletes to look at. You can do Control Alt Delete, and let me get out of the keyboard. And as you can see right here, let me go ahead and pinch to zoom it down. Let me go back into portrait mode. As you can see right here, when you do Control Alt Delete, this is the options that you usually get. I know it looks a little bit different just because I'm on my phone, but yeah, lock this computer, log off. And that's everything's completely works 100%. You do not have to be on the same network because we're connecting via your IP address. So anywhere you go, you can leave your computer on and you can be at school and say you want to look up a file. 
um, you're able to just load this up and it'll be really quick. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and feel free to subscribe and like and share. Thanks a lot. Thank you.